one of my subscribers um thanked me for uh analyzing John Stewart's career and uh and they thanked me for um for um explaining how he helped us analyze and gave us the ability to detect bullshit when we heard it or when um or and the careers that he gave to people and uh the person asked me um if i uh to give my reaction towards uh, Don, John Stewart's final show which i just finished watching fucking beautiful It was like fine pasta from your favorite Italian restaurant. It 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 was beautiful. It was beautifully done. This is a spoiler video, massive spoilers. If you had not watched the show yet, if you just DV if you DVR'd it, you're on your way home from work. God forbid you're watching this while you're driving your car. Um, but. But this video does contain spoilers, so if you had not watched John Stewart's final show, don't watch this video. But if you had watched John Stewart's final show and you're feeling a bit weird, sad, emotional, or like me, a combination of all three, um, um, I'll I'll for you, my subscriber who asked me to give my reaction to it. Here's what. Like I said, it was like a fine Italian pasta dish that you would get from your Italian, favorite Italian restaurant. Um, I love how the show was planned out. It was an hour and 22 minutes long. That was longer than Letterman's final show. Letterman's final show was an hour and 15. Which is actually kind of rare, to be honest, because when Letterman signed off, CBS was so cheap, and they gave Letterman 15 extra minutes to say his farewell to his fans, but Jon Stewart has contributed so much to American pop culture and American politics and American news media that he is an honorary journalist. He really is. He is an honorary journalist. He is my generation's Walter Cronkite. Um, Jon Stewart, um, and after I'll show like he normally did his other shows were covering elections, but all the correspondents came back. All the correspondents, including John Oliver, including Samantha B. Jason Jones, Larry Wilmore, Craig Hilborn came back. Um, the, the first half of the show was funny. The second half of the show, well, I should actually say that towards the end of the first half of the show, it was a little bit sad for Jon Stewart. I mean, he actually started to cry because Stephen Colbert went into character as his Colbert character and then got out of his character and saying, I know because you told me that you told everybody who worked with you that we don't need to thank you, but we need to thank you for everything, for giving us our careers, for giving us, us the ability to be funny because of you were funnier and 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 Stephen Colbert was speaking on behalf of everybody who worked with him be with him with John Stewart behind the scenes and and um in the comedy business um the second half of the show which was my favorite part John Stewart went to camera 3 for the final time and was allowed to say bullshit on the air, uncensored, which is a pretty big deal. I mean, that's equivalent to Amy Schumer saying pussy, as in the female part, on air, on her show. I mean, it's just as equivalent. And, and for a long time, John Stewart was saying bullshit, fuck, son of a bitch, but was censored until 2010 where they were like, you know what, screw it, John could say bitch on air, but he can't say fuck or bullshit, but for his final show, they allowed him to say bullshit as many times as he wanted, uncensored, which was absolutely beautiful, and his final message to us was, was that, <clears throat> if you smell something, 
If you hear something that's off, take a big sniff, long sniff. It's probably bullshit. And, and, the, and his final message to us was, you don't need me to tell you that there's bullshit in our politics. You can do it yourself. And he gave us a basic how-to. But the final part of the show was my favorite. It was his farewell message to his fans. And, and he said, don't think of this as a farewell and I'll never see you again. Think of it as a, I'm going to grab a drink. Do I doubt Jon Stewart is going to be back on television? No. I, I very much think that he's going to appear on television shows every now and then. But I don't think he'll do another show like he did The Daily Show. Uh, my, but my favorite parts of the, his final show was, was the video that he showed giving credit to the writers and the uh, producers and the, uh, and the uh, camera room people for doing what they did over the 17 years that he's done The Daily Show, which was phenomenal. I mean, Jon Stewart has more of a diverse, diverse, um, um, had more of a diverse employment office than Trump Plaza. But it was beautiful how he how we thanked all of them by doing that video and but what really topped it off which was the whipped cream to this chocolate shake that we were watching was was the boss playing john stewart ran the daily show like a boss and at john stewart's request bruce springsteen played two songs but in the background they were playing clips of The Daily Show, like a, like a collage. I mean, it was a very beautiful show. I'm sad that Jon Stewart will not host the show anymore. I'm a little bit emotional, but I'm trying to put jokes in my video so I don't burst into tears. But I also feel weird. Because the reason why I do feel weird is because when you hear The Daily Show with Trevor Noah, it doesn't sound like it's something you want to watch. It sounds like the, the Daily Show with Trevor Noah it, it, is equivalent to the sound of The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. It doesn't click. I mean, The Daily Show with Jon Stewart is equivalent to saying The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. You want to watch it. You want, to, you want John to strangely fondle you while he's tucking you in bed. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the thing, it feels weird that John Stewart won't host The Daily Show anymore. in my last video thank you John for everything you have done you gave us the ability to detect bullshit when we see it or hear it or even smell it um, and because of you I'm able to com comment on the GOP debate on Facebook like you in a manner the way you did because 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 of you, the, your comedy style I accidentally screwed up Cousin It and Grandpa Monster. I thought they were in the same show, but 
Cousin it was from the Adams family. Grandpa Munster was from the Munsters. I need a flub. I need a John Stewart flub. It's because I'm I, 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 I love your I loved your show. I really did. I loved your show. For the thirteen years I watched it, I loved your show. You and David Lerman were such such uh, uh, important things in my uh, TV personalities in my life. And, and and I can never repay you two. I really can. I can not repay you two for the laughs that you've given me for the for the for the for the ways of making me uh, understand how to be funnier in a conversation. And on behalf of every David Lerman fan, every John Stewart fan who miss these guys deeply already, thank you for everything. We can never repay you. Um um, if you want to help John Stewart and David Lerman buy jobs, uh, go to the GoFundThem.com site. But other than that, it was a very beautiful show. See you guys.